Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. One Loco All-Star team captured a state title last night at Oscar Frazier Park, and by the time you see this, another one might have joined them. The Buford County 13 and under All-Stars claimed the Dixie Junior Boys crown with an 11-4 win over Oconee County as leadoff man Ty Eanes went 4-4 four for four with two RBIs. Chase Cotter added three hits and two RBIs and earned the win with five strong innings on the mound, and Jensen Beretti was three for three and slammed the door with two scoreless frames to close it out. Now it's on to the Dixie World Series later this month in Opelika, Alabama for Coach Alex Hunt's team. The 14 and under Buford County All-Stars are one win away from claiming the Dixie Boys state title and punching their ticket to the World Series in Spring Hill, Virginia. Coach Danny Morgan's squad rolled to a 13-3 win over Oconee County last night to improve to 5-0 in the tournament, and they haven't had to play the full seven yet. Five Mercy Rule wins. They're trying to finish the job this morning in a matchup with the Latta team that they beat 11-1 to two days ago, and we'll have the highlights for you on Friday. One more All-Star team will try to add to the Loco Trophy case when the Hilton Head 10 and under Miners All-Stars open the state tournament at Clemson with a 3 p.m. matchup against St. George on Saturday. We take a deeper dive into the area of baseball and softball scene on Loco Diamond Dudes. Check it out on the Loco Media YouTube channel. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco.